Hello everyone, uh, I am Vitaly and this video is the first uh, of a kind for me I am doing um, a review of um, uh, this company uh, from China Paul Rubens sent me a set of paints and uh, watercolor paper uh, to test and obviously make a review which I am doing right now and this part is basically I gonna unpack it and you know share with you my first impressions and in the second part of the video I will be doing some picture uh, first impressions of like very very well packed uh, everything is fine you know like I like this um, uh, the way the, the clear uh, packaging is um, it has it like very tight it's always a good sign you know so people have some money invested in <laughs> proper equipment so packaging is good I'll start actually with the paper uh, very fancy I would say packaging so uh, looks good it just uh, I'll open it here I don't know. So inside it also has a clear pocket as you can see with this, some logo on it and we have I think 16 sheets of watercolor paper roughly A4 size that's okay uh, it feels it feels good nice texture to it I wouldn't say anything else because I can't obviously read um, uh, this writing I can't tell you what is the composition is it like 100% cotton it says cotton but uh, I guess but I'm not sure what exactly uh, is the um, is it 100% cotton or not we will see when it starts to work so nice packaging anyway it's very handy to have extra sleeve not everybody does it so because like outer packaging very often gets discarded so some something like that is handy so i'll put it away for the moment and paints so i will take my trusty utility knife and I'll open it box kind of cool I like this oh so what we have here some fancy bag as well as you can see now mm -hmm. it came in the pallet metal one from outside built Mm, very well uh, I know what I'm saying because uh, I use metal pallets myself and the quality build quality is good so we have here a list of paints uh, at this moment I will not judge any like um, uh, the set itself uh, uh, we will dive into this later but it's always good to have separate uh, list with the um, uh, names on it and what actually always bothers me is when you're missing the um, ingredients like I can't tell from here uh, what is the um, pigment uh, in the paint that uh, these numbers probably they only refer uh, to their um, internal uh, you know classification of this it's just a number uh, it doesn't relate to um, the actual composition I mean like what pigments uh, these paints are made of so that's so probably some uh, advertising book. 
Okay, falls away. Yeah, it looks very good. Uh, I like it. Um, the surface, so we have kind of uh, four mixing wells that also works fine. Now, uh, normally uh, I would expect all these bits uh, wrapped in um, foil. At this moment, we only have uh, like flimsy paper packaging and then again we don't have or we do yes we do so finally we've got this but it's very very tiny I will bring it to you if we, if we can catch it uh, PW6 yeah so that is the pigment um, for I, like I'm not a young person so, so I I use glasses and uh, this is very very tiny print um, I would like to see it like bigger maybe on this would be nicer so PW6 that's the pigment this paint made of also we have uh, their um, classification of the on the transparency is transparent and some um, fastness rate so how long it will withstand exposure to light so the the more of this um, stars you have so the longer it gets unfaded like stays unfaded so this is white now uh, what my problem with the any of this sort of kits when it comes with um, uh, pants these are half pants so it's not a full pants half pants uh, doesn't matter the thing is it's very very easy to mix them up if for some reason you kind of maybe you know they, they, they scatter so uh, good idea uh, for me uh, I mark them on the back side with the marker so if I say remove the packaging okay so uh, before I put it back I will mark it with the marker like say one so that would correspond to the proper layout that I have here and if something happens and I like some of this got misplaced I can easily you know put it back so that that may be just a handy thing maybe just me so uh, basically you can do it you might not do it just put it back so I've been there before and I know sometimes uh, some paints uh, look uh, really uh, dark or maybe it really hard to distinguish them uh, from one another uh, when it comes to like you know to arranging them and you can say especially reds like you kind of could you know get in trouble then uh, especially you know when uh, the original layout will be um, broken also uh, what might be done uh, sometimes it handy uh, I would cut a tiny um, piece of watercolor paper and just uh, make a chart exactly with the same layout and paint the samples and I keep it maybe in some safe place maybe attached to here so that's probably um, a way to do it but so far so far I will gotta tell you it looks pretty cool uh, this thing is nice very good build uh, nice uh, a kind of anodized or some sort of finish on this uh, feels fine I'm not sure what this for I don't know but first impression is very good very very good uh, uh, let's see uh, how they behave I mean I will be testing uh, some of the colors separately just to see like my first impression how this palette behaves uh, you know if you know this effect um, when uh, some some liquid gets here it gets kind of gathered like in the wee drops and it's kind of hard to see what you mix yeah but uh, I don't know yet but it might look it might work fine anyway so I will uh, finish uh, for this part uh, I will unpack them all uh, there is no reason to show you the, the whole process is just like uh, 
doesn't make any sense and then we will get back and put all this paints uh, test we are back and <laughs> to be honest it took me 20 minutes uh, because I uh, checked with my watch uh, to unwrap them all put them back and write down all this composition I mean uh, what pigments all these paints made of generally everything uh, checks up except for the uh, cadmium red uh, hue because uh, all this hue stuff means that original cadmium red uh, pigment was replaced with the cheaper alternative it's not real cadmium we will see how it behaves sometimes hues work like absolutely fine so at this moment i would like to try a general like uh, qualities of the paint how you know brush gets the pigment what is the pigment concentration how it feels on the water or on the paper and so on so on so on also i would like to make a couple of mixes uh, my uh, the the ones that i use very often and see how pigments uh, behave so i always say say like there is a loads of uh, again black and few like burnt umber uh, that's fine it's not too many like i don't like uh, brown and black colors they don't i don't use them in my palettes so we just but not too many of them here i will put this away for the moment also i have discovered this thing could be lifted placed maybe maybe it's a like you can perhaps detach something place it here i reckon it would be nice if you're using say bigger brush so i will be using the something smaller you know so just to make it handy for myself to work with at the moment because like i will be having questions if i have uh, for instance uh, to load this brush well i don't know probably i need to remove the pan put it somewhere and then work we will see so now back to paper so i will pull out one uh, oh my god it's some sort of sparkles on it look i don't know if you can see it all right now so first thing i would like to mix orange and blue to achieve uh, it's supposed to get get black now orange here according to least so naples yellow orange po 71 so should be absolutely fine let's load the brush feels okay to be honest hmm nice consistency so um it feels that um, uh, pigment concentration is very decent here that looks good yeah quite happy with this now where is my so that's what i'm saying like you know I have to check yeah i think this is blue i need Ooh. what we have here i had to stop for a second because <laughs> i was kind of I, I wasn't sure myself what i'm getting and i'm seeing like this is green and i oh my god and i had to check like with other people maybe i gone blind or something like i mean color blind first disappointment uh at least with this color which is supposed to be um i was hoping it will be close to um, uh, phthalo blue we have prussian blue so so far so good feels fine little bit like a luminous or something now orange again 
mixing and again different shade of green and last hope ultramarine oh my god No, this is better. Okay. Ultramarine is fine. See what we got? So when we mix uh, orange and ultramarine, we got the result I was hoping for, which is brown and black. Yeah. So, but Prussian blue and that what it called uh, cyan here but i'm not sure it doesn't work with the orange at all so it gives um, um, green um, shade which is not a uh, what i expected to see um, it kind of immediately limits um, the uh, abilities of these two paints use the complementary colors to orange orange itself like as a separate color is fine but it works with the ultramarine uh, even though like i kind of was a little bit shocked with the um, luminosity of the but it's cool i think as long as it works as it's supposed to be it's not as deep as a uh, uh, but it's just on me only me it's like it's only my you know impression i uh, my ultramarine is a little bit deeper so this is just ordinary ultramarine okay now the first test uh basically passed as long as you can get this uh, gray brown combination of uh, orange and blue that's fine from my my point because I use this a lot uh, and I will just go through the different combinations and see how it works and I will be using now these wells so uh, by combination I mean there is a say we have yellows right and for a realistic paint painting which I basically represent so I do at least I try him to do realistic watercolor painting usage of uh, complementary pairs is just the way it's supposed to be for me and I have to check how all the pairs work so first pair uh, ultramarine and orange worked fine but the problem is ultramarine is not a primary color uh, uh, primary blue supposed to be Prussian blue or this one but they failed so basically the pigments for them either not so you know good I don't know it's it just doesn't work as it's supposed to do so we will leave them we don't have primary green because ultramarine is uh, has violet shade and it's never was like blue it's not blue it's violet blue color so let's see how yellow uh, so I wanted to see what see that the way it goes kind of together so before using all the surfaces you probably need to scuff them which is very often common practice you know it's not a big deal uh, what I notice uh, from my first impression, um, uh, I got used to um, Japanese paint and they usually kind of, they color really, really subtle, they not so jumpy, uh, but some manufacturers like, um, I know uh, Russian company, um, White Knights, they also really vibrant colors in the palette it's not a bad thing it's just a little bit different for me but it looks fine especially i think if you do illustrations and you need vibrant clean color that obviously really really good 
uh, it looks fantastic to me so it just uh, that all all that achieved by um, high concentration of the pigment and in this particular paints I can see decent concentration that's a good thing anyway so complementary color for yellow we're getting back to our stuff mm, violet violet I think one of the violets is here yeah and one I supposed to get in there also some uh, brownish shades and it works as a charm very good so violet and yellow works another star the Paul Rubens now next one is different types of reds and magenta especially magenta now magenta here is next to carmine and that, that's magenta let's see what they think as magenta Ooh, lovely nice really vibrant nice color i like the actually the the way the ground powder the like the pigment it's very fine uh, not as fine as some other paints we can see still some um, kind of uh, coarseness in this but not much it it's, works fine and I will check it with two different greens or maybe like as many as I can find so that may green brilliant green this thing uh -huh. yeah very vibrant colors cool looks good now this one mm -hmm. and something warm great very nice mixes we're getting here and I wanted to check that red which is cadmium hue and fingers crossed it will work fine we need green for this and we're supposed to get nice brownish colors which is here good well uh, actually when I um, try to um, do some painting with the Spains uh, using the um, uh, Paul Rubens uh, watercolor paper uh, to be honest it turned out a complete disaster I just uh, the, the picture end up in, in the bin I wouldn't even like uh, show it to you so let's say I don't want to like say that the paper is bad for me it didn't work and if someone someone would ask me uh, then my answer will be uh, there is better uh, paper uh, on the market so just uh, use different paper uh, different story uh, with the paints I have prepared this lovely picture uh, dried uh, rose I gonna do this using uh, Paul Rubin paints uh, I have a faith in them so uh, just um, mm, uh, there will be not much talking during the process so I will be painting away uh, maybe I just uh, will uh, speed up uh, the video so it will be like a quick motion but you will get the idea I I am kind of um, positive on the outcome so I hope it will be fine uh, 
uh, paper here I'm using it's Fabriano 300 grams uh, cold pressed mm, absolutely uh, fine not the best on the marking market of course but it's a very decent uh, paper um, and so let's start we will see how it works and then when I finish the picture we will take a look I just maybe uh, add a few remarks and that will wraps, wrap it up <music> my um, test picture is done well you can see for yourself everything is absolutely fine I am pleased with, with the paints and uh, I would say they are uh, as um, uh, manufacturer claims it's high quality suitable for artist professional use nice vibrant colors working absolutely fine with the layers and everything so i i just i spent very little time on this but uh, in conjunction with uh, proper uh, watercolor paper these paints work absolutely fine i would definitely recommend it uh, for beginners even for experienced artists give them a try if you maybe been looking for something you know uh, new um, mediums to try this is a um, thing to uh, not to be over <laughs> overlooked so very pleased once again five stars for the Paul Rubens watercolor paints I just a couple of remarks uh, as I said before I not personally fan big fan of half pans but I believe maybe uh, so I worked with a small brush today on this picture no problems at all um, that's uh, I'm pretty happy with the result uh, so basically uh this is the end thank you very much for watching if you have any questions you can ask me you know about yourself so i will see you in the next video uh, pretty soon mm -hmm.